hello hello i'm back again i truly feel led to come back i have a direct word for someone and that is to stand 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 your ground stand your ground a stance is a position a stance is a position you look at it in, ba in basketball the players when they play defense they have a stance in football the quarterback he has a stance underneath the center the center has a stance the wide receiver has a stance uh, the running backs they have a stance a stance is a position a position and once they're in position then they're ready the same thing with faith and with God faith is a position a stance is a position where you're locked in where you believe a certain way that's why stand stand is locking in not giving up not wavering not doubting believing the Bible says be ye steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the Lord and you know your labor is not in vain steadfast unmovable that means that you're not shaken you're not moved by what you see you're not moved by what you feel you're not moved by what you hear you're not moved by what happened to mama's 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 cousins in your bloodline where that could be a, a generational curse and you're standing against it you're speaking against it there's a faith there's a, there's a faith there's a miracle that you're believing for you're standing for it the bible says according to your faith be it done unto you according to your stance according to your stance toward God toward what you believe in for because if you're locked in and you're ready then God said you can have it Jesus said if you decree a thing out he's to perform in other words if you speak it out if you speak it out of your mouth if you form it God's gonna got he's gonna back it he's got your back so that's why I'm telling you hear me hear me well stand the Bible said and having done all to stand stand just like in a stance also when you are lifting weights in a stance. There's a stance when you're lifting weights when you're trying to get your uh, your body stronger. That's a stance. That's a mindset. That's a position wherein you said to yourself, I'm going to lift these weights. You said to yourself, I'm going to get strong. And so in the process of you getting strong, there's a stance. And in that stance, you're going to be sore. You're going to work out a lot. You're going to go through so many changes. Your body's going to be breaking down, broken down. But that's a stance. You decided. I'm going to do it. You decided I'm not going to give up. You decided I'm not going to throw in the towel. You decided I'm going to bless God. You decided I'm blessed. This is what I'm talking about. God wants you to have a stance. Stand. Stand with faith. Stand. If God has told, told you that he's going to bless you, stand in what he said. Because, see, God is not slack concerning what he's promised. A man might have lied to you. A woman might have lied to you. But hear me and hear me well. God will never lie. He will never leave you nor forsake you nor, nor lie. Matter of fact, he don't count slackness. He's not a man that he should lie. So God ain't going to lie to you. And so stand, take his word, take him at his word. Believe him, trust him. That's what I'm talking about, standing. See, also the Bible says, now let me give you one of the definitions, the Hebrew word of the word stance or stand. The Hebrew word of the word stand meaning means a place of resting, a resting place. Listen to this. The Bible says, Jesus said, come unto me, all you that weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In other words, when you're weary, when you're worn out, your legs are wob wobbly. But if you turn to God, God will cause that wobbly place, that wobbly, those wobbly legs to lock in. In other words, God's going to find, God's going to cause you to labor to find rest, to find peace. Where you confuse, God's going to ca cause you to labor to find peace. If you need a healing, God wants you to labor. And that labor is faith. Trust in God. The Bible says faith without works is dead. In other words, God, you have to say, God, I take you at your word. God, you said it's going to happen. I'm going to lock in. I'm going to believe you. 
and I'm going to take you at your word. And so, God, it's your word is on the line. So you said that if I trust you, then you said if I believe in you, then it's going to happen. You said if I abide in you and your word abide in, in, in me, then I can ask what I will and it shall be done. And so now, God, I'm going to take a stance. This is what you need to do. God, I'm going to take a stance according to your word. And my stance is faith. My faith says that it's so. See, faith says that it's already so in heaven. It's already done. And so all it has to take place is that the manifestation of what's already been done and said in heaven had to become so in your life. It had to become so in your walk. It had to become so in your everyday walk. It had to become so in your conversation. It had to become so. God wanted to be so. So my question, will you stand? Will you stand? See, because in that stance, it's a place of rest. God want to give you rest. Stop working. Stop running. Stop fighting it. Trust God and rest. Rest in him. And that's simply saying, God, I trust you. Bless you. Amen. Have a good day.